This was brought to you by The Strange, The Bizarre, The Unusual, I Like It. On YouTube and Facebook. Vemic Court. Court. As a result of disputes between warring factions of the period, many criminals would flee from the mandates of law that they were deemed as criminals to. They would travel to areas not ruled by the states they were wanted by, for the crimes they committed. Lynn Thorndike described the process of how Middle-aged Germany had practiced Vemic law. Germany practiced law with Vemic courts, working in the darkness of secret tribunals, where criminals were first termed reprobates. Members of Vemic tribunals worked in secrecy, and if any outsider found out about the tribunal, the sentence was automatic death. The sentence for any crime in Vemic law was death. Members were given passwords, secret handshakes, and signs so that other members would know that they were members of the society as well. The practice of Vemic law was vital to Germany during the 14th and 15th centuries. The emperor had no other solutions concerning justice at the time. Vemic law flourished for 400 years until it eventually became corrupt, with complaints from the people. Vemic laws handled criminals who were involved with witchcraft, murder, rape, and robbery. If three or more members caught a criminal in the act, the sentence was automatic death. To summon a criminal to court, members would post a summons to a tree, or a place where the accused would anonymously find it. To be cleared of the charges criminals had to appear for trial, and cleared by oath. If they were members, the criminals could appear in court, and take the oath. If they weren't members, they had to be represented by a family member who was a member. The criminal still had to be cleared through oaths, and if that wasn't possible, 23 members of the court had to give their oaths in favor of the accused. If found guilty, the accused was immediately hung by the neck on the nearest tree. An engraving of SSGG was engraved into the tree, showing that the Vem had done their work. Lynn Thorndike was an excellent writer, and reading his work about the Middle Ages is strongly suggested. Especially a book entitled, History of Magic and Experimental Science. This was brought to you by The Strange, The Bizarre, The Unusual, I Like It. On YouTube and Facebook. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.